Okay, so we have to get the ball rolling on this cake. So I'm going to quicken it up a little bit. Um, in order to get like a good script for this, we have to play around with the question that we're asking. So I think that we have is going to be so we're on the chat GPT again, and today we're gonna do uh, write me the recipe for a gluten-free. You all know I don't really like the taste of wheat. Gluten-free, oil-free uh, chestnut cake. That's kind of what I want for my birthday. So let's see it go. I'm sure here's the recipe for the gluten-free cake. Um, Oh, crazy pants. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Coconut sugar. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay. Let's do that. Let's make this for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> so if you remember, uh, the chatbot can, it like remembers the thing that you asked it before, but this time, uh, let's try to do it whole food plant-based as well. It was it was pretty much that before. Yep, dates instead of the coconut sugar. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So yeah, it was it's it's very similar other than for the dates, I think. Um maybe the almond flour I forgot, but okay, yeah, I think so yes, uh, today, today is, what is the look I'm going for today? I don't know. Um, today is indeed my birthday and I thought uh, to make it a little bit more special, I would enlist an AI to make my cake for me, kind of. Um, so I'm sure everybody has heard of chatbot chat uh, GPT rolls right off of the tongue um, and you know essentially it's this artificial intelligence chat bot that has information and like a big language database from 2020 and back so it has like information from the internet as well as whatever it has been fed these big data languagey things so it's really smart uh, but it's also, you know, in addition, it's able to infer. So if it doesn't know, it kind of, you know, goes a little, goes a little beyond, which is super not creepy. Um, so what I thought would be fun is to, y'all know me, I'm, I'm becoming more problematic by the year. And so I've, I've started to really, you know, like change my diet to be like whole food plant-based. I don't have oil anymore, which means I can't go out to any restaurant at all. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm vegan, I'm plant-based, um, you know, d don't want oil. And so uh, I, I asked chatbot. Okay, and I'm basically gonna try the cake out afterwards. A little long-winded these days, eh? This is kind of what it came up with. It's chestnuts, dates. It called for applesauce. I don't have that. So I'm just going to cut up some pears and then put it all into the blender. I figure that should be okay. There you go. We didn't have chestnut flour at the grocery store. So this is gonna have a bit more moisture on it. So somewhere along the way, I'm gonna take out like a tablespoon or two of liquid. Okay, so dates, chestnuts, sort of like my applesauce, but pears. A half cup of the almond flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, a sixth of a cup of plant-based milk. I guess we can add a little less to that because of the chestnuts, but eh, it's not much. I think we'll probably need a little bit more to get it started anyway, so we shall see. This will be blended. Completely forgot. Wee splash of vanilla extract. Okay, so hold on. We actually got it 
to, at first I thought I needed to use a food processor because it wasn't going. I added like a teaspoon, maybe, of, uh, of additional soy milk. And then I just kind of constantly scraped it down, but it actually got to a really nice place. And then now we're supposed to fold the uh, chopped chestnuts in, which here it is. <laughs> made a little collar for the cake since I wasn't going to use oil to, oh god. Okay, so then at the end, oh gosh, we're supposed to fold in some chunky chestnuts. And you're supposed to mix it in a bowl. But I say, why dirty up the bowl? We can just do it right in here. Yay. It'll be the same, don't worry. I think. Okay, okay this says 350, 25 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick, blah, 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 clean. So, I mean, this is a smaller cake as well, but I think, and it's in the air fryer. So we'll just play it by ear. I will kind of toothpick it. Maybe, okay. All right, good luck. Let me show you the cake that I made yesterday night first so that it would cool, ready for today. Um, I thought what I would do is, uh, we're gonna go off of GPT. Um, we're gonna make a cashew cream because I had it recently and I was like, oh, this is really, really good. So I have some cashews that I've soaked for a couple of hours. Um, I have this like coffee granules that I thought I would mix into the cream afterwards and then I have some date sugar so I think that's all that I'm going to put in the frosting um, so yeah we'll do that together a tablespoon of the date sugar first and then adjust it afterwards I don't know how much coffee to put in <laughs> quarter teaspoon first. This gets blended up and then actually after you put it into the refrigerator and just let it, you know, all of the nuts really soak in, um, the cream actually becomes even thicker. I didn't put any oil to grease it, so. Okay, boom. Voila. don't exactly know what I want to do here. Don't know how much I can do here. Um, yeah, it, it is on the grittier side, but that's because there was just so much room in the blender and everybody knows how this works. Can't really chop it up. I mean, I guess I could have put it in, in like a mortar pestle type thing. Okay. I hope this is edible because this gold stuff is flaking off. I tried a little bit of it, like, if you can get a, maybe I should have gotten a tight shot of it. Um, 
you can actually see at the end, it recommended that you add chunks of chestnuts in. And so you can actually see chunks of chestnut in there. Okay, so I feel like it's only fair if I try what chat GPT bot guy made first. So if I just try the cake first, okay. That is delicious and that is moist. That's really, really good. Um, like I was worried that it would be kind of like carrot cake and carrot cake's kind of like dry and crumbly. This is soft. I mean, it's not so soft that it's like weird that you're like eating a mousse or something, but it is a soft cake. It is a moist cake and it is good. Like it is good. I'm getting a little chunks of chestnut, which you may or may not like because it changes the texture of the cake a little bit because now you get chunks of chestnut. So if you like chestnut, that might be a nice thing. If you don't, I'm gonna assume not putting it in or just grinding up more chestnuts and then making the cake more chestnut heavy. Now I'm gonna try it with the frosting. God, the frosting's so good already. Yeah, the frosting's really good. I think what I need, well, what I've needed for a while is just like a, a smooth texture, but even so, That was really good. Like, I don't normally eat a lot of cake. Our chatbot um, uh, did a really, really good job. Like, the, I think the cake is just super moist. It's very, uh, very good. We just added the frosting on top, but the cake itself is really, really good. So um, I'll put, you know, the, the actual uh, full recipe down in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too creepy for you. Yeah, ChatGPT makes makes good cake. All right, well, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all again next time. Wait, bye. Oh, God. Oh, and no.